been a crazy week for me with school. You know, I had like three exams this week. Um, I just got out of a class early it's Thursday, so um, spring break's almost here. It's next week. I guess it's been like a D-low week for me too, so I haven't really got any gym footage, but it's been awesome, been refreshing to kind of um, give my body a physical rest while I'm trying to, you know, mentally exhaust as much as possible with school. But this this crazy week's almost over as far as um, academically for me, and then I have a nice little spring break where I can just relax and enjoy myself. Been crazy um, busy with school. Uh, I just went grocery shopping because I had some free time because I wasn't expecting to get out of class early. I figured I'd put up a video to let you guys know. People tend to really like these videos, even though I preach that you can eat pretty much whatever you want as long as you stay with your macros or your calorie goals or whatever. Um, and if you have watched my, my newest update video, I have talked about getting away from counting kind of macros for the most part and just having like a minimum protein and a caloric intake and letting my carbs and fat pretty much fall where they may in a quantity, a reasonable quantity. You know, I don't want like 20 grams of fat and like 500 carbs or like 75 carbs and 200 grams of fat or whatever. So um, usually if I just eat normally the foods that I want, I, I get a decent range and my macros really haven't been that much different. It just gives me more flexibility with my diet. So quick little shopping video. I don't have a lot of stuff here. Um, first I'll show you guys these bagel thins. These are by Thomas. Usually I go off-brand with most stuff, but I've tried the off-brand bagels and they're just not very good. So with bread, I tend to go with like the, the more expensive stuff or the name brand stuff just because I actually think it's worth the money. So these are bagel thins. The cool thing about bagel thins is that they're not like super high calorie. So some of the big bagels have like 50, 60 carbs in them, uh, which are fine. Another thing you can do, people don't realize this, is just eat half of it. Some people have a really weird misconception with if you get a package with two Pop-Tarts, you have to eat two Pop-Tarts. Or if you get a whole bagel, you have to eat the whole bagel. You know, you can always just eat half of it and that cuts your serving in half. But I really like these bagel thins. This is called the Laughing Cow. Hopefully you guys can see that. These are pretty, I don't know if it's like a lower fat cream cheese or not, but these are awesome. Um, again, I was trying to switch some things up with my diet. It's getting kind of just monotonous with my, with my stuff. And I wanted to try some bagels and cream cheese out. So I got this cinnamon cream, the Laughing Cow. These are really cool. Um, really good cream cheese. I'm not a huge cream cheese fan. They're pretty good. It's kind of like the skinny cow of cream cheese, I think. Um, so going into kind of some staples. I got some gala apples, pretty simple there. Got some bananas, pretty simple there. You know, fruit's actually a pretty decent amount of my carb intake. Cereal actually, so I went ahead and got these chocolate toasted oats. These are pretty much like off-brand Cheerios. Again, I'm super cheap, so like truly knows me, knows I usually hate frozen pizzas. But I got recommended these. Um, they're actually pretty solid, and the macros are pretty solid too. So this is actually a barbecue chicken, and I freaking love chicken and barbecue. So um, you get California pizzas. Uh, so maybe try these out if you're a big um, frozen pizza fan. These also were on sale too. And I got the Hawaiian, this is like a, a personal pan. So a little bit, I could probably eat this whole thing. I probably couldn't eat the whole big California pizza fit in my macros. And I'm, really, I'm a student, so a lot of my meals are like processed food and, and stuff I can eat on the go. That's why I like fruit a lot. Um, one of my classmates recommended these Cliff Crunch Bars to me. They're pretty similar macros with like the Nature Valley ones. I think I've had a video talking about these. Yeah, so these Nature Valley ones. The, the crappy thing about these is they're like, they get a, they're like a mess when you put them in your bag and stuff. So I kind of tend to favor the, the chewy ones. So they have like chewy and crunchy. And they, they're, uh, the, the chewy ones are the higher fat, but uh, pretty similar stuff. Just a quick little snack. These are about 190 calories, 9, 27, 3. So, you know, it's just pretty much fat and, and carbs for the most part. So I usually have like the Nature Valley. I'm trying to have like these like with a post-workout in between class or something when I'm just a little bit hungry. And these are um, Cliff Crunch Bars. So they're a little more pricey, but these were white chocolate, macadamia nut. He had the peanut butter one. I had a, a taste of that and it was awesome. It was better than the Nature Valley. So I wanted to give these and a shot. And just some lettuce, nothing to say about that. A veggie blend I have, I pretty much like salads. So I just have like spinach and ranch and stuff. And then I'm not gonna show you guys all these, but just a ton of the Carb Masters from Kroger. I got strawberry, vanilla, blueberry. Again, these are really cheap because they're Carb Masters. They're like Kroger, so they're kind of off-brand stuff. So they're pretty similar to like what you can buy in the big, the uh, big yogurts for. And again, these are the Greek yogurts. So the other, the Carb Masters aren't Greek. These are Greek. I tend to actually like Greek a little bit more, but they're more expensive. 
It gives you a little more protein in there. I just like that thick consistency. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, right? So uh, these were these are normally like four bucks, but they're on sale uh, three for nine, so they're like three bucks. And I didn't have I really all I have like my Snickerdoodle uh, skinny cows in there, which are pretty good by the way. But so I figured I'd just grab some ice cream. And this stuff is gonna go bad. So I got the Eddie's. Big fan of Eddie's. If you watch my channel for a while, pretty solid macros. 100 calories per serving on the coffee flavor, and I freaking love coffee. I'm not so sure about this, but I figured I'd grab it. Uh, buck 30 on the cookie dough flavor. This is probably the best single one I've had from them. Again, you're gonna pay a little bit of price for the calories, nothing crazy. And this is a, another awesome one. I, I don't want to pronounce that, so just read it because I always say it wrong. This is 90 calories, three fat, 14 carb, two protein per serving. So the Eddie's is um. A little bit pricey, a little more pricey than the other stuff, but they're on sale and you can't really beat the macro. So that's pretty much all I got guys, pretty simple stuff, you know, um, some clean food, some dirty food for you, um, I don't want to say hippie people out there, but yeah, uh, so that's, that's the video guys. Thanks for supporting my channel as always. I just put up the barbell complex video. I'll probably have some more content talking about my um, take on cardio right now and kind of where it's going as far as me and, and what I have my clients doing. Uh, I try to have like the most redundant information so I don't want to just you know do a ton of stuff about you know macros and all that stuff. I think if you watch my channel for a while it's, you kind of understand that stuff so I want to kind of give my viewers new stuff that I really other, don't see other people talking about on YouTube they can actually benefit from. So go ahead and like the video if you haven't, if you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you like my information. Go check out the Ferris for Fitness Facebook page. I'll have another weekly training up like next week, not this weekend, because I don't really put up my deload stuff. But going into month seven for my Windler, um, I have a little new progression with my assistance work, which I'll share with you guys. And that's it. Any questions, leave them in the comment box. Until then, guys.